Lisa, mind your head. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Rocky's just rolling around having a good time. Um, so we are about to go through some of my old slash original YouTube videos um, and yeah, give them a watch. We've literally just finished filming another video. We did um, an outfit challenge. We did. We did. So if you haven't checked that out, um, I'll leave a link and you can go check it out. But yeah, two cameos on the channel, Steve. I know, right? Yeah. It's almost like it's my channel. I swear people like you more than they like me anyway. Nah, so. I think so. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we have the laptop set up here. We're going to go through some of, yeah, my first ever YouTube videos. I'm actually really nervous. I, it says that I've watched them on YouTube, but I haven't watched back any of the videos I, I've done. Yeah. I only ever watch back stuff if I like need to remember something or like, or if someone asks me a question about a video and I can't quite remember if I filmed it a while ago and I watch it back. But I haven't ever just sat and gone through any of my old videos and I'm really, really nervous. Um, because the oldest one on here is two years ago. Two years, wow. I know. That's a long time ago. And, yeah. I feel like this is obviously no shade at anyone who's starting up a channel. Like, it's just so weird when you first start filming and stuff. It's like really, really alien, like, talking to a camera. Um, and, yeah, I used to remember... Do you remember me, like, had to shut myself in a room by myself? And I was like, don't listen, don't listen to me talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to be really extra about it. And I'd be like, I need... Rocky! Milo is basically still on top of it. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I used to get really, really nervous, so I'm sure that's going to be obvious. Um, but basically you just have to look and see how far you've come in two years, right? Yeah, true. So if I can do it, obviously you guys can do it too. 100%. Um, yeah, right, so... <laughs> first, I don't even remember this being my first video. I think, why would this have been my first video? Did I do like a welcome to my channel video? I don't know, maybe. Where would that be? That'd be on that. It'd be in your upload. Sort by it's not that, and maybe I... August? I don't think I've removed any videos from my channel. What If I did, where would it be? You'd have to go into your creative studio. Steve knows more about this kind of stuff <laughs> than I do in case anyone hasn't realized. Yeah, so go, um, sort by date, date, just click date there. No, it's your oldest one. Okay, right, fine. Well, that makes it easy then. So I did this little beauty of a video about food intolerance. Um, I feel like this looks like it's really sponsored and it's not, which is really sad. Um, oh, oh my God. In your house. <laughs> <laughs> this is my old house before we moved into our house together. Oh, I'm cringing already. This car set on the top. It doesn't matter. Look at these cinematics, hey? Is this my intro? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh cute. <laughs> oh. We just sold that car, didn't we? Oh, God, can I? Hey, guys, welcome <laughs> back to my channel. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you about food tolerances. Um, so this is something that I've kind of struggled with for probably about two years now. Um, At the time I did have a real issue where I was eating something and I was just bloating, but in hindsight I think I was just eating too much. <laughs> At the time I was like, I have a serious problem. I'm getting bloated as fuck. And yeah, I don't, I think I was fine. I think I was probably just a bit dramatic. But I did buy this food intolerance test and it was helpful. That's good. <laughs> well, that's a positive, isn't it? I look so young. You do. I also have very little eyebrow. And you're in our, your old house. A whole house? Your old house. Foods that I've been eating that have either made me bloat really, really badly, mm. um, or I get really bad sort of stomach pains, like stomach cramps. Um, <laughs> Which is too much. Great. Um, and you know, sometimes I can be up all night because my stomach just really hurts. I did used to have stomach cramps. I haven't had them in ages, but I do think that I think what it is is that um, 
at the time I was very into my health and fitness which is why I'm so much more skinny on that video than I am now but I was really kind of like eating quite healthy and quite clean and that I would like have like nights where we go out for dinner and have loads of drinks and stuff and I'd get awful stomach cramps mm. and feel really ill and I think it was just a massive change whereas now I just eat shit all the time and I'm, I'm just fine just all right with <laughs> so, that, yeah. yeah. Um, so moral of the story, just do whatever you want. Do you think I sound like... I yeah. think it sounds like... What are you going to say? You sound nervous. You sound like a little bit timid. Obviously, you know what you're talking about, but it's it's your delivery. If you compare it to how you, eat, how you even opened this video, mm. it's nine day different. I was going to say, um, like what I was going to say is that it sounds like I'm trying to be more British. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my channel. Hello. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> Which I just thought was unrealistic, really. Like, if I was intolerant to everything, then I would probably be a lot more sick than I am. True, Louise. Um, so I was kind of skeptical about it, um, but at the same time, didn't really want to go to the doctors and have like blood taken. I so have had blood tests done. I did a lot of research done. into it, and I actually found. Also, look at the difference in camera quality like, right now. Testing. Um, so basically, they just send you these little kits, um, you just pay for it online, they send you the kit, it comes in like a couple of days, um, and then it comes with um, tools to kind of like prick your finger, kind okay. of um, antiseptic wipes, and a little, um, like a vial. You're very handsy. Are it's you still small, like that? I not, think I'm still like that. <laughs> um, but then you sort of bag it all up and you send it back to them, it's all free post and everything. Lab, oh, so scrub like, this forward. Back, Did you test. show your results? Well, you, but you can also um, access it online. Oh, here we go. Um, and there's medium, and then red's high. Um, oh, so you had two high intolerances. Well to yeah, one of them was beef. You are as to how beef. <laughs> I'm really, really intolerant to beef. I'm not really intolerant to beef. I don't really know. You don't eat a lot of beef, though. I don't eat a lot of beef. No, that's... True, we did have steak the other night. We we and we had burgers yesterday. I'm oh, yeah, fine. I'm yeah. fine. No bloating, no pain. So I think pinch of salt all of this, right? Yeah, I guess so. Right. Yeah, I think I just wanted to be intolerant to something. Do you know what I mean? Did I'm... you want like a reason? Yeah, I think I had like stomach cramps. I didn't want to go to the doctors, and I just thought it must be food. It's got to be something like that. It's yeah. got to be this, and I didn't want to come to terms with the fact that I was just eating and drinking too much. <laughs> I didn't want to face the truth. So really intolerant to eggs. Um, eggs. <laughs> I have eggs every single day. <laughs> I literally eat eggs every single day, and oh, I don't know. Louise, what have you eaten for your last two meals? Um, this morning I had eggs on toast. And for dinner last night. For dinner night? last night I had burgers. Yeah. <laughs> Beef burgers. <gasps> I love this slow blink that I'm doing. Like uh, I have it in my diet. Quite a lot. Every day. <laughs> I mean, you don't eat beef every day, but you have eggs pretty frequently. Yeah. No reaction to chicken. Egg. Oh, so it's just egg white then, apparently. Egg white. Yeah. I eat the whites of the eggs. I mean, if I was allergic to egg yolk, I'd be really upset because that's the best bit. That is the best bit. Should we skip to another video? Because I want to see how I sign off, actually. Yeah, let's just see the end them. screen. But yeah. Check back in in two weeks' time for my next YouTube video, and I'll see you guys. Two next. weeks' time. Slack it off. <laughs> oh, that's a cute little outro screen, though. That's not your Instagram. You don't have that website anymore. I don't do fitness anymore. <laughs> oh, oh my fit. Oh, this would be good. I hate. I I when we spoke about doing the spoke about doing this video um a couple of weeks ago. I literally watched the first two seconds of this video you and my it. face just looks like, I just look like a different person that really freaks me out, but here we go. I like this intro. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Woo! Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, so I know my channel is still really, really new um, and I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a background into how I started my health and fitness journey. When I said it was new, um, so no, like no one followed me. <laughs> someone who was never into any kind of fitness, sports, anything like that. So <laughs> I was always the chubby kid at school. Aww, that is true. Honey bun. Just in any kind of sport. This girl likes to eat. I mean, healthy, 
or whatever until I was in my teens and I didn't want to be the chubby kid anymore. Um, and I was really How sad is this? skinny, um, which is a really, really bad outlook to have anyway. True. How sad is this? Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Can you not? Um, uh, yeah, I think like, it's true that I was always like the chubby kid at school and like, I really struggled with my weight. Like I've always struggled with my weight like throughout my whole life, but I feel like there's definitely a massive shift in my channel that, I mean, I'm curvy, I'm proud of it, and, you know, like, <laughs> but I, I I, want my channel to be kind of a place that inspires people to, like, dress their curves and embrace it, and, you know, not everyone's designed to be a size 8, size 10, and that's normal, and, you know, curves are good as well. Steve, can you just, I, I'm trying to have a little monologue here. I'm trying to have yeah, a moment. monologue. Yeah, but you're just playing with the dog's bloody backside. Um, but yeah, I think it's really sad to like, I think at that stage I'd lost a lot of weight. Yeah. And I was like, look at me now, I'm more skinny. Do you know what I mean? And like, that's not what it's about. Cause I think I'm happier, like a lot happier but that's, now that's than the I thing. was then. It's not about being skinny, is it? It's about being healthy mm. and making the right choices in terms of health rather than to do it to be skinny. Yeah, I will say though, I think I was definitely Milo. <laughs> Are you gonna go toilet? I th having said that, I was definitely a lot more healthy there. Like I was eating really healthy. Mm. Um, I wasn't under eating and I was working out and I think I did have a really good balance then. I don't have a very good balance now at all. We were both really on it with going to the gym and yeah. eating well and stuff like that. And we've discussed sure. this and I think we would like to both get back to that point, yeah. but not just in like, oh, we want to both lose weight and be skinny sort of thing. Because this would have in... been before my accident, right? Yeah, so Steve fractured his spine probably like, I don't a know. A couple months after couple this, months probably. months after this. Mm. Um, yeah, so I think we would both like to get back into going to the gym a lot, eating yeah. a lot more healthy. I think we've both struggled also being in the middle of a pandemic. I, I think say, it's yeah. been really challenging um, to actually feel motivated and on it with stuff like that. But I think it's a different mindset. You just look at the table. Um, it's a different mindset now where we both have that kind of drive to be more healthy and just feel good rather than yeah. looking like skinny. skinny. And I think at that stage, I was worried to put weight on because I didn't want to be fat. And that's quite negative. Because you've said this a lot recently, haven't you? It's like you'll see old Instagram photos or like time hop stuff. And it's like, oh, I was in such good shape back then. But you were still saying that you were fat. Yeah, so like stuff I was probably about a size 12. And for anyone who doesn't know, I don't think anyone probably would know because I've never really spoken about it on here, but I used to, the reason I kind of originally started like my Instagram, my YouTube is because I was a beach body coach mm. and I was really into my health and fitness and I saw it as being like a really good potential kind of career path, something that would get me out of my nine to five at the time because I was just really unhappy in my job. Um, so I saw that as a bit of a path for me to yeah. go down. And I remember starting up all my social media, obviously I had social media, but just for friends and family. And I remember thinking, oh God, like I'm really embarrassed about how much I weigh and this and that. I was a size 12, um, which is like below the UK average. And the UK average is like a size 14. Yeah. Um, and I remember thinking like, oh yeah, well like I'm going to lose weight so it looks like better. And I like looking back at photos now, like, I mean, I, You're in great I didn't need to lose any weight whatsoever. I like, I honestly look at my figure then and think, God, like... The photo of you that's in the thumbnail of this video. Do you, you know the one? You're in like the... Um... Yeah. I'll put them on the screen for you guys to see. But I... Jo, I was sucking in so hard in those photos. Yeah, Because you... I was so self-conscious. Yeah, but you look really good. And like, even... I remember when you took them, you were like, oh... I thought I was obese. Like... Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so weird. And like, now obviously, like, I know I'm not in as good a shape and like it's not even a weight thing like I just don't feel as healthy as I did mm. then um and I would like to get back to that but I just think I very much have a different you've definitely got a different outlook and mindset much more like appreciation for my body and my figure and things like that and I really love having curves I always have liked having curves but yeah I just I think I definitely did have some sort of level of body dysmorphia where I thought I was a lot bigger than I was 
Um, but yeah, I don't think I have that anymore. No, I don't think you do either. Yeah. Do you want to watch some more of that video? Yeah, I'm probably going to scrub through because it's quite boring. <laughs> also just listening to my body. Um, most of the time, if your body is craving something, it's craving something for a reason. So I intuitively Ooh. eat and that works really well. Um, I don't think I've ever intuitively ate very well because I always want food. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really work for me. I tend to track macros a lot more. Um, the one on the left, that was when we were in Mexico. That meal was so banging, good, wasn't absolutely it? banging. It was so good. And the photo on the right is just a photo I, of a lunch I took to um, made it uh, work. Right? Lunch I took to work, and it was cold falafel. So I think that's all we need to say about that. Lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> it means I can have the foods that I love, and I can eat out with friends and family and enjoy my life. Oh, which is old what's fitness most clips. About. And I make sure that I'm kind of. Oh, are they in this? The yeah. Areas that I need to target in each of my. Oh, get it, girl! Get it, girl! <laughs> I don't want to work out six days a week. Oh, sorry, if you Rocky. do want to work out six days a week, that's cool, that's fine. But it's Soup. me, I Soup. burn out <laughs> and Soup. I lose interest and it becomes more of a I can lift a lot heavier than this um, now. So well, there's definitely a pre lockdown of finding what works for you and your routine. If you're someone who's super busy and you've got a hectic job, working out you six love days that, a Jim, week is not realistic. Yeah. Um, I think that's part of the problem for us. Like, we, this is, we were both living in my place mm -hmm. so long story short we had our own places steve lived in north bristol i was living in south bristol at the time and um steve moved in with me because it just made a bit more sense because of where we were working and stuff yeah and this was the gym that was near it was like 10 minutes up the road from where he was living mm -hmm. and it was such a good gym wasn't it i absolutely loved working out there and then we moved house and that gym is now like half an hour away which is just not doable not to have an, like an hour commute to your gym each day um and i've never found a gym that i've liked in our local area we've bounced around a couple haven't we and all of them have been shit um so i would love to find yeah a gym that we both love or some sort of workout setup that we both love because i just it definitely helps doesn't it yeah it definitely does you have to like go our gym at the moment is tiny and Obviously, with the whole C word, um, it's really unclean. And you guys, if anyone follows me on Instagram, you'll know how many times I've bitched and ranted about that gym. Yeah. I don't like it. True. Um, so, yeah. Let's continue watching me pump some iron. <laughs> um, and that's okay. It's You're not a failure for not working out. <laughs> it looks like I'm going to take off. off. Like, days woo! <laughs> also awesome. Because you are working out. The fact that you are working out is a start. Just so let me go. I know. Don't push yourself for not absolutely slogging it out. I can't even do one of those now. How many press ups can you do, Steve? In you a, have fractured your spine, so probably not. In a row, or? Yeah. When I was in good, good shape, uh, more. Oh, vision board. Oh, I still have a vision board on my laptop um, screen, and. I think the photos are very, very different to what they used to be. So let's let's have a look at this one and see. I kind of put it somewhere that I see it a lot. Mm -hmm. So I've actually on the, at the moment got it on my phone. So every time I look at my phone, I have my vision board and it's okay. I say that I've got it on my phone and I show a desktop. <laughs> <laughs> so. So what we've got here? Talk talk us uh, through. Oh, so top two photo. Well, top like to and the airplane obviously travels going on holiday and stuff yeah that's something that's just constantly on my vision board obviously we can't at the moment which sucks um but that is what it is there's some coconut smoothie bowls there i mean that is very much my vibe mm -hmm. um there's an extremely tiny woman there in low-rise workout shorts low-rise workout shorts I'm not a vibe. Um, so I was obviously putting that there as fitness motivation. <laughs> if I were to look at fitness motivation now, I wouldn't look at someone with that body type because yeah. she's extremely small. I'd actually look at someone who was more kind of like curvy and strong and, you know, no shame on that woman whatsoever. She looks fantastic. But I don't think that is a realistic body type for me. No. Um, there's also a little doggo on there. And since we've got, since then, we've got two doggos. One's in between us. One's sleeping here, and the other one's Oop. wandering around. Hey. I think he needs a wee, but we're gonna have to have a break in a minute, same for a wee wee. Um, bottom right, car, 
I did get a new car. It's not that. It's not that one. <laughs> it's not, I do it's like not, that car. It's not too dissimilar though, is it? No, um, no, we couldn't afford that one. That's a very expensive car. Um, but I'm very happy with my car. Um, it's a hybrid, hybrid <laughs> SUV. Love that for me. Um, bottom left, do you, do you find that funny? Yeah, because it's exactly <laughs> what you've made. And I got rid of. <laughs> so I always wanted an open wardrobe because of that one photo. Well, not that one photo, but I wanted an open wardrobe. We moved house. I created an open wardrobe. I will. That's probably one of my most popular videos it on is, my channel. Yeah, I think so. Um, I'll link that. And yeah, I had it for like a year, and then realised it's just not. It doesn't stay tidy. It's really like annoying to look at. So I had it for about a year and took it down. So that lasted well. And there's a picture of a kitchen on there I think that was to do with us like moving house manifesting like a nice big kitchen or something I don't know which we have done we have moved yeah so I you know a lot of stuff on that vision board I think I'm true yeah I mean obviously considering you said the travels like a constant thing yeah it's just like encouraging me to work hard so that we can go on like nice breaks and nice holidays and stuff like that that's something that we'd like to do yeah Right, we just took the dogs for a quick toilet break and made ourselves some hot drinks. Oh, oh hey! Oh hey! Right, so the next video is surprise trip to Prague. So I don't think I've spoken that at all. I think it's literally just like. Oh really? Yeah, because that's before I start like vlogging so that we, we a little bit of, whilst louise finds the next video that we're going to watch that bit of insight in that every year for our anniversary we try and go away our anniversary is in november isn't it so mm. we try and go away we alternate what we do basically so one year i will sort the whole trip without any of louise it's like input knowledge surprise. anything and then the other year we plan something together that year was the year that I planned something, so we turned up at the airport. That was our first anniversary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we literally turned up to the airport and... You had no idea where we were going. I had no idea where we were going. And um, we went to Prague. Yeah, it was really, really nice, actually. Yeah. Um, right, so I'm going to skip to this one, which is our new house tour, which is the house that we live in right now. <coughs> Okay, I was walking let's go. down the street the other day Trying to distract myself But then I see your face Oh my god, look at the space Look at how white everything is as well Let's like turn it down a little bit Yeah Oh Oh, my old hair The old eyes gem <laughs> oh, it's actually zoomed in on a great. That table doesn't look like that anymore. <laughs> yeah, we still have that table, but not that, those chairs. Yeah. That space looks so empty compared to now, doesn't it? Yeah. I kind of like it though. It's making me want to like move the furniture. <laughs> Stop it, children! They're fighting on my back. Maybe look how nice the grass looks. Much better than it does now. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look that now. That kitchen side looks really cluttered though. Mm. We wanted to change worktops as well. Didn't we did. do that. Worktop sink. That bag. <laughs> that bag slash packet, whatever that is, on the grass. In the very back corner, yeah. Yeah. Um, around here. Um, it was there for ages, uh, but it, the reason it stayed there for a long time was because the guy who installed the grass said that no one should stand on it for two weeks. He, he said there shouldn't be any like traffic on the grass for a couple of weeks. No, he while said it don't stand on it. Stephen. So there was this one, he basically said like, don't like be walking on the grass all the time for the first two weeks while it tries to establish. And there was this one bit of like plastic flew over the fence and was in that corner for like, it was like there for like a month because you were adamant that we weren't allowed to tread on the grass. Four weeks, he said. Was it four weeks? I think so. Okay, well, anyway. And I was like, please, can I just nip out and just grab it? I'll like run, oh. run back. And you were like, no! <laughs> At this point, we didn't have any neighbours either. Yeah. Do you remember? That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so different as well now. Just watering that, that plastic bag. 
God, you're so fun. I know, you're so right? fun. I remember when that was my pride and joy. <laughs> it, was, it was your pride and joy whilst it looked good and then it started looking shit and then you lost interest. This doesn't look too, too different. Yes, it does. Oh, I suppose it's We've got a colour. massive black um, TV unit wall. It's all been painted. We've got new, like, the only thing that's the same is the rug. And the sofa. Don't have that footstool anymore. This is what Louise was talking about with the TV unit side. Yeah. Doesn't look like that, but we did kind of do that. Yeah. We. You. Um. That. That bathroom looks exactly the same. Literally exactly the same. I haven't done anything to it. Oh my god, right, let's do your dressing room. My favourite room. <laughs> dressing room. That monitor's in my office now. <laughs> that is now. Oh, yeah, my do you office. remember? That was where my PlayStation was to start with. Oh yeah, and you used to always come into my dressing room to play on your PlayStation. Yeah. Because I wouldn't let you have it in the lounge. Mm. Mm. Still not allowed it in the lounge. No. It's not in the lounge. It's, I don't have a PlayStation anymore. I've yeah, got well. a PC, but it's in my office now. I'm seeing you scrub through and it's like the, the, two, the two rooms on the top floor have got like nothing in it in this yeah. video. Well, oh, you can see the houses being built out the back. Mine's just let down on the window so. Storage. Um, this was meant to be our office and we were like, oh, we're gonna like, you know, work in the same office together because we love each other and that's what couples God, could do. could you imagine? That didn't last very long. Could you imagine? We can't work in the same room. We have to have a different office. Yeah. I really feel for the people who have to share an office space in, in, yeah. in the current, current climate because I think we would have, one of us would have killed the other by yeah. now. Right? Yeah. So this is now our guest bedroom. <laughs> Not our joint off office like we'd originally planned. It was an office for a period of time. But then basically what happened was when when um, the current situation started and I started working from home full time, because obviously Louise works at home anyway. And when I started working from home, that was our office set up. And it was in the height of summer, wasn't it? So the sun was beaming through that window mm, and that really room hot. was like 30 plus degrees every day yeah. and I just could not work in that room. I couldn't work in a room with Steve who would like, he just talks all the time. I'm on calls a lot and of the time. You, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so not even talking to me, just like talking to other people. And yeah, you deliberately didn't slurp then because what I was about to say it was like, this is Steve like during the day like, Like literally all day, and I can't sit next to you when you're doing that. Dying. Oh, don't play me like that. I didn't do um, it. So yeah, this is now our guest bedroom, and Steve's office is in the room next to it. But also, I never used to walk up here because mainly when we got Rocky, um, it's this room is on the top floor. Yeah. And I was having to go down, and like, I mean, I'm just really lazy, like going down three flights. Two, two flights? flights? Two flights um, of stairs Just to, to let, the dog, let out, the dog out. Have lunch. Yeah, like get a snack, get a drink. And I just ended up staying downstairs all the time. So that didn't last very long. Should we move on to another one? Yeah. I'm enjoying this. I really am. Just like taking a look at some of the old stuff. It's like a rundown memory lane, isn't it? Shall we look at when I cut my hair off. I was gonna say that, yeah. So, I mean, you're gonna see it in this video anyway, but my hair, well, my hair's nearly back to its normal. I think it was a little bit longer than this maybe originally. It's a bit further down your back than that, I would yeah. have said. Um, and I grew it that long because I wanted to donate, um, cut it and donate it to charity. So I did that and then I filmed it. My hair was accidentally purple as well. Yeah, I, I used, quite um, like it. Oh, really? 
I think, think it I look so purple. tragic in this video. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, the mirror. Whoa! How long is that? The mirror's on the wall from the last video. Oh, there's my underwear. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. A little, little pop of pink there. Oh, wow, it is. I didn't realise it was that long. Yeah. I hated it that length, though, because it was so irritating. Yeah, but you were growing it for a purpose, Yeah. Though. I was really nervous because I'd never, ever, ever had short hair, apart from when I had, like, a bowl cut as a child. <laughs> so I just didn't really know what to expect. Your mum coming in clutch with a bowl cut, hey? Yeah. And I also very kindly did this two weeks before my sister's wedding, so she was really worried as well. <laughs> Oh, look at the trim. <laughs> what is my haircut? Why am I wearing really tight grey t-shirts in these oh, videos? Oh, oh sorry, mine. I'm like, stop filming me. Come on, stop. I still go back to that salon like once a year and they, they always remember me as the girl who had all her hair cut off. They're like, oh yeah, I remember you had your hair cut off. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that's me. Look at that, just bam. What was really disappointing is I thought that it was gonna feel really light and like, oh my gosh, so much weight's been lifted and it just wasn't. I love how you were like talking about short hair. It's only a little bit shorter than it is now. Sorry? What? That's down to like there, isn't it? Well, no, she's cut it shorter on the back. I think it just looks longer at the front because it's like pulled forward. Um, yeah. Oh, cup, I, cup I, tea as well. Of course. Um, I do wish that I had done it a lot shorter and donated as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Come on, Steve, get the camera to focus. Feeling myself. Actually, do you know what? I really wasn't sure about the colour when I first had it done. It was quite blonde, wasn't mm. it? Some of this looks so painful. What do you mean? It's like where it's like your hair's being pulled and stuff. Yeah, I wish I'd had it like an extra couple of inches. Cute! I think it looks cute! Mm. Yeah, for me it did feel really short. Oh, this is making me want super blonde hair again. Summer. I had a root drag done last time, so I think it was all this colour before. Like this. Yeah, anyone like who is hair. anyone who is thinking of cutting and donating their hair, a hundred percent do it. Little princess trust. This is dangerous, I wanna do it again now. What donate? Yeah. Grow it and donate it. I mean it comes quite a way down your back. I'd it's say you're almost there. I'd say there it was probably like what, an extra two, three inches? Yeah. Longer. My hair does grow really fast. I don't know. I do like having long hair, but... Like, looking back on it now, I think it looks really cute. It does look cute. Hmm. <laughs> decisions, decisions. Let's wait until we're out of lockdown, because I don't want to just have, like, a lockdown hair meltdown situation. Yeah, I get that. Let me dye it pink first, and then we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have a hair lockdown meltdown, but yeah, I'm going to dye it pink. <laughs> yeah, but the pink is... Like, I know, I know, I know. It isn't permanent, it'll wash out, so... Yeah, let me do my pink first, and then I think yeah. we'll, we'll play around with the length. Boring, boring. Um, Swiss getaway. Let's do our Swiss getaway. So this is a year after. This is our second anniversary. I don't think the dates on YouTube are very accurate. This was our second anniversary, yeah. so this was two and a half years ago. Or well, two and a bit years yeah. ago. Cute short hair. What do you guys think? Should I cut all my hair off? Again. Again. <laughs> when I said I wouldn't do it again, should I do it again? What do you think? No, don't say anything. What do you guys think? Should I cut my hair short again? 
what are we feeling? What's the vibe? What's the situation? I feel like you're feeling the vibes. So yes. I'm feeling the vibe, but then I'll probably do it and regret it. So what do you guys think? Because I think it looks really cute. It does. I was worried that it like, it made me feel a bit, um... Look at your eyes I popping in that video, by the way. Oh, babe, stop. Cringe. <laughs> no, seriously. I, do you know what? I, I feel like during lockdown, I feel like I've lost myself a bit. I just look at these and think I look so young and carefree. And I look at myself now and I'm like, who is that weathered old woman? <laughs> Weather. Do you know what I mean? I just like, I don't brutal. know. Brutal, brutal. I think I remember like, I was really like healthy, happy, like yeah. thriving. Um, and I just feel a bit like, feel like the pandemic's aged me. So here we go, taking off for Switzerland. We planned this one together, didn't we? We did. Easy oh, jet. you're so cute. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's all about the budget, guys. Oh God. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a good shot there. This is our first ever ride in a Tesla. We got picked up in an Uber, which was a Tesla. Look, I'm so excited. I'm texting someone about it. You actually look really like bougie in that. Do you not think? Because you've got that really smart coat on that I like, that you never wear. I would wear it in the winter, but I have no need. I had no need. I didn't leave the house this winter. Yeah, I'm not wearing that coat dog walking, so. We were genuinely psyched about this, yeah. weren't we? And then we were also psyched about the fact that there was a fire on our TV, which shows how easily pleased we are. That hotel was so nice, wasn't it? But Switzerland is super expensive, wasn't it? Yeah, where's the where's the favorite your favorite place that we've been on our Amsterdam? Average? Okay, easy Amsterdam. Whoa. That was another surprise trip, but I ruined the surprise. Mhm. Mm oh, yeah. I remember that. That's such a nice trip. Bogner. And they had a really fancy car shop, and we went in because it was just cold. It's very cold, so we were like, let's just go into the bougie car shop, and they were trying to sell us a car. Yeah. And we were like. They were trying to sell us like a Jaguar, like a yeah, full going, spec Range Rover. In. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you don't know what my paycheck is because I am not buying that car. <laughs> <laughs> so on our anniversary trip so far, we've been to Prague, Basel, and then Amsterdam. Oh yeah. Obviously, November just gone. We couldn't go anywhere. We tried to do a staycation and it got cancelled. So, but we're actually um, going to this. Well, touch wood, we're going to the same place that we booked for our anniversary. We're going to go for Steve's 30th, which is in April. Um, so, hopefully, yeah, if everything goes to plan, that'll still happen. I really like that we do this for our anniversary and mm. we go away. It's a nice little break before Christmas and stuff. Yeah, is this? A oh, that was the cute. No, that was the cutest Christmas store. Me telling Steve all the things I'm going to buy. Oh, those cocktails were so good. I can't wait to go back to normal life. Oh my god. It looks cool, doesn't it? It's really, it was really cool. And cool. That's me genuinely pissed off with Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of my face. Aspar. Oh, Aspar, lovely. Good music choices on this, by the way. Thanks, babe. Oh, it's so... Oh, that's horrendous camera work from I've got, one of us. I've got a different camera now, oh. which has stabilisation on it, doesn't it? Thank God. It was off on D for two there. It was so sickly, wasn't it? It was quite oily, wasn't it? It had, like, a lot of wine in it, I think. Oh, that's oh. a dead trim on me again. It's hat hair, babe. That's what it is. I quite like it. Well, well I was going to push it forward, but you don't have any anymore. Right, guys. I feel like that's enough of an insight into my embarrassing debut into YouTube. Two years ago, though. It's a long time. It's not that bad. I don't really care that much, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's just I just find it really, really funny. And it is interesting because I, I remember, like, I used to really struggle picking up a camera and filming in front of you. Yeah like let alone in public or anything you like that you would have never have done a video like this two years ago would you 
Well, I wouldn't have been able to. No, mate. but I mean, like, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have wanted to, or even like the one we filmed earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you wouldn't have wanted to have done that, would you? No. I, I wouldn't have ever vlogged in public or anything like that. Obviously, I did film bits, but like, I wouldn't have ever spoken to the camera in public. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and it used to like even filming intros outros it used to take me so long because i'd want it to Couple be perfect takes, yeah. and i'd have to like go over and over and over whereas now it's just one take one take Lou. one take wonder just get it done and you've got your youtube channel as well don't you yeah that's almost a year old superstar now. and you're a superstar yeah you're a sleepy superstar um yeah Time flies. Time does fly, hey? I can't believe it's been two years, to be honest. I but, know, right? I mean, as you would have seen at the beginning of that, I was posting every two weeks. Every two weeks? I do four a week. I do four a week now. That's um, crazy. Yeah, so I've definitely ramped it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, anyone who's thinking of starting a YouTube channel, go for it. Just try it. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and it's all just about being consistent and what else consistent <laughs> being consistent do your research know what your what your audience is trying to be my camera just cut me off because we'd reached maximum time what were you saying be consistent be consistent know your audience know who you're tr who you're trying to make videos for but obviously you have to enjoy what you're doing yeah 100 percent. because if you don't enjoy the content that you're making you won't stick with it you won't you, you know it has to be a reflection would you would you would you watch your own content um, I would say yeah, but watching back some of that <laughs> shit, probably not. <laughs> so thank you for everyone yeah. who's been here for two years. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. You have to a hundred percent enjoy what you do, and yeah, it's an extension, obviously, of your own interests and your own passions and stuff. Um, I obviously very thankful for Steve because you definitely helped me a lot to begin with because I'm not tech savvy really mm. I didn't really know like anything about tags and doing stuff like that so Steve definitely helped me out <laughs> getting started I still don't really know what I'm doing I'm swinging it let us know if you like this video if you want us to film more things like this obviously if you guys have any suggestions drop them down in the comments box we I think we should do another outfit one because people said that I didn't make it hard enough on you last time oh oh really and I forgot to make it really hard on you this time. So I think we should do another video and I should properly challenge you and I'll be really interesting. Fine, let's do it. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, we will see you guys later. My head looks so big, so I thought like that. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>